Yeah, no, I was like, that's a, that's a vibe. <laughs> Let's go! With this dish, focus less on the flavors that I use today and more on the procedure. We cooked an entire side of salmon for a holiday meal and one of my concerns is roasting it whole. There are very thin spots as you see me trimming that belly section and very thick spots. They inherently cook uneven, which can lead to a very dry dish. One of the ways I even this piece of fish out and still leave it whole is to braid it. And you'll see here I'm cleaning out the last couple of pin bones I found. And I'm going to divide it into three even sections, leaving a small portion of the tail intact. I'm going to get even mass, not necessarily even size. You'll see that that last piece I cut there looks larger than the center piece, but the mass is about the same. When we go to do this braid, be very gentle. The fresher the salmon, the better it will braid. And don't get concerned if the salmon doesn't stay all facing right side up. See right there, I flipped it over to the belly side and it's not gonna matter. The trick is to get a nice, even tight braid with very few gaps in between, knowing that when we roast it, it will tighten up on itself and make a more even dish. I use a couple of toothpicks or bamboo skewers to hold the end of the braid together and I tuck that tail section underneath so that it looks nice and even all the way through. I'm going to take this little piece of belly meat that I trimmed and roll it all up to form a rosette which will be my crowning garnish for the center of the dish. When you do roast this in the oven, take a little piece of foil and cover that rosette for the first three quarters. It'll shield it from some of the heat and prevent it from tremendously overcooking. I'm going to lift it off of the paper towel here and put it in a lightly greased baking dish or casserole dish. I use a olive oil organic pan spray I like it because it gets a little bit of oil in difficult places that otherwise a brush would put too much oil on. And remember, you add fat to a item that you're going to roast, it's going to speed up the cooking time and increase the temperature. So keep that in mind and don't overly apply that. Again, the flavors I'm using here are kind of what I had in store and I was looking at minimizing the seasoning and maximizing the flavor of this really great piece of Norwegian aquaculture salmon. I used a little majorum, a little paprika. You'll see here with these green herbs, I'm very careful. I'm only using a tiny amount, but I grind them before I put them on to release the oils. And I just want a little bit of a coating. I love paprika on salmon. I feel like the red smoky color and flavor imparts quite a bit without taking anything away from the actual filet. You'll see that little tab I cut there is the chef sampler piece. I'm putting a light coat of Himalayan pink salt and fresh ground pepper on top of the other herbs. I worry about putting salt on a piece of fish and drawing the moisture out of it. Uh, this was going to sit in the fridge for a couple hours before I roasted it. And I will also caution you against adding any kind of an acid to a fish immediately, or not immediately, but before you cook it. That I don't want that lemon on the fish. It'll start to cure it and draw the water out of it again, the moisture. But I will season with it towards the end right before I serve it. You can do any set of flavors you want with these. One of my personal favorite will always be a teriyaki glaze. In this case, I didn't film it, and forgive me for that, I thought the camera was running, but I took some dried figs and I placed them in a balsamic vinegar reduction that had been infused with a fresh pomegranate. Cook it down till it gets that nice syrupy consistency and the figs are very tender. The combination of these two flavors was just incredible. I did finish the salmon with a little fresh lemon and a little fresh butter just to add those notes right at the end. 
This is one of my favorite holiday dishes, and it's actually very easy to do. Forgive me for ending this on a political note. Look in the comments down below, and you'll see in the mid-90s a certain uh, senator from Idaho showed a tremendous amount of disrespect to the indigenous salmon up in Idaho, and the local residents uh, told this elected representative what they thought of her and her comments about the salmon. Remember, to be called a good cook is the greatest compliment to some of us out there. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, please leave a comment down below, and thank you very much for being a part of this community. Bon appetit.